morning everyone. Got the vintage open tournament this week. And this will be a rookie guide for that tournament. Um, there's a new ball out. Oh, I guess it's already gone. So they basically came out with a with a reskinned Kingmaker. Which obviously not the most useful tournament ball, but definitely good for those people out there that are grinding away for their clans. Um, so typical setup for rookie. Do one bag with quarterback, one bag with extra mile, and hole number one is a par four. Let's see. We'll stick with thorn, which will be 2.2 .2 per ring, and probably go with maybe a quasar. I'll have to see what the uh, what the wind is. We may just be able to bomb it <clears throat> all the way over to the green. So, <clears throat> it looks like we should be able to do a hook shot here, or slice shot, and get all the way up there to the green, so go ahead and plan to do that. As you can see, they've changed this hole quite a bit, and it's now it's substantially downhill, so I'll we'll have to take that into account for the for the hook shot as well. So I'm gonna use a Titan probably. Let's use a Titan to be safe. And three top spin looks decent. Um, so this is where I'm going to initially aim. It's about right here. And then I need to go 13 rings for extra mile 5. So 5, 10, and about 13. And full slice, and just missed the rough. You know, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I think that's about as good as we can do with extra mile five and the limited amount of curl that it has. So, not too, not too mad about that at all. did start my aim a little bit um, a little bit far left it's, it would seem like and that's just sort of to allow for the ball to keep curling once it hits the ground <clears throat> and not hit the rough so So 1.2 per ring on this. I'm gonna say it's about one third of max club, so we really just need to go one ring here. 
7.3 or so in wind. So since I was at one third of max club, um, I just divided the, the amount of wind by three, which gave me about 1.2, 1.3. And my down in one level four is 1.2 per ring, so just needed about one ring there. So let's do hole two, which should be a backbone maybe. Oh my god, are we going to have to wait for this spinning screen every single match? Nope, our opponent's just going to bail. So this is way too far to right. Should land in the rough, unfortunately. Um, this is actually a pretty decent hole to be able to dial in in a tournament. So Try three backspin. Alright, let's try two and a half backspin. And go a little bit over two rings, play about mid club numbers. And a little bit of curl. I probably didn't need the curl. Yeah, yeah, I did. So, two and a half backspin seems pretty good. Just needs a little bit of work. I'm not sure if I under-adjusted or just didn't. Um, didn't quite use enough curl, so... As you can see, they made quite a few changes to this course. Um, only a couple differences on the holes themselves, but the general design around this course has changed quite a bit. But it's always been one of my favorite courses, so definitely glad to see it get used again. getting replays maybe yeah much smoother so we may need to do another slice shot here we'll have to see maybe not we'll see if um see if katana is enough or not
So I'm gonna go three top spin. And full right spin, as much as we can do. And see if that'll get us far enough over. Yeah, that's not too bad. So that should leave us about maybe a mid-distance backbone to the green. So, yeah, going to be pretty close to mid numbers. So I'm going to try 1.5 per ring. So let's try one top spin and two right spin. Kind of line it up with the hole. And go about two and a half rings. And we got it. So, definitely a good chance for an albatross there. Always is on this hole. It's always a good, good separation hole in the tournaments. Really making people execute good shots, so. I always really like that hole. Um, hole four. Um, I'm going to use this bag because I think we'll need... Oh, no, we may be in Saturn range. So I'll go ahead and put Saturn on. Eh, we won't even need Saturn. Backbone should be fine. So, good shot there. And we are in backbone range. And four and a half bars of backspin looks pretty good. rings 1.4 per ring or so I'm gonna go ahead and go three rings a little bit of over adjustment <clears throat> ooh just too much backspin
so not too much to that hole. Um, definitely need to change clubs for this part five. I plan to use quarterback on the drive and 2.5 per ring on the big dog. So definitely a hole worth breaking out a Titan for. So really the the main goal on this drive is to just get as far down on that first fairway as possible. In rookie there's really no no way to get over to the uh that's pretty good right there. There's really no way to get over to the uh the second fairway. Eh, maybe with big topper, but probably not worth it. So, I'm going to try a no spin. Just aim over here and use curl to bring it back. And really, as long as we land in the fairway and get down there a little ways, that's all that really matters. So, not too bad. Looks like we could probably use one bar of top spin and be fine. That's a decent shot, but that is not where you want to be. That's going to leave a... Oh, nice. Came back off the green. So, if you do land there, it leaves an overpowered putt. Which is obviously not what you want. So, didn't quite make it down as far as I wanted. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is it looks like I'm just going to barely clear that rough with the second bounce. So, I'm going to use a little bit of curl. And got lucky to hit perfect ball. Yeah, so just barely cleared that rough. And that ended up being pretty good. So definitely would like to get a little bit farther down on the drive. But definitely not the end of the world. So hole six... Let's go ahead and get our Viper back on. And probably a Quasar on this one.
So right about here is where I want to land. So I got my five rings. And that should be just fine. Yeah. So, it definitely won't set up an easy second shot by any means, but it should be an easy birdie. So that is an alternate route that you can play this hole. I don't think it really provides any advantage though. And it's a lot more risky, so not really worth it in my opinion. So let's try a three backspin. And 1.9 per ring, it's a little bit of pill. But I'm going to go ahead and adjust about max numbers and just not use any curl. Um, see how that works. Just for starters. Not too bad. Definitely needs at least a little bit of curl. So let's move on to number seven, which is the last par five. So I'm going to put the big dog back on again and bring out a Titan. So this is pretty much the only par five in the game that you can't really reach the green in two. Um... An expert or master, you could reach the green if they give you straight tailwind, but I know in master, they didn't do that for this tournament at least, so. So, that looks pretty good. No spin. Three rings. I do want to get as far down there as possible, so. That's decent.
So from here, we're going to blast it as far as we can. And try not to clip the rough at all if we can. I think that should be just fine. And it'll give us a clear shot to the pin and give us a shot at Eagle, which is more than our opponent will have, so. So, pretty close to Max Club. I'm going to try aiming it straight at the hole. And 2.2 .2 per ring. I'm just going to go two rings. And... Looks pretty good. So, no spin on that shot there. Just went, um, aimed straight at the hole and adjusted for max numbers since I was at max club, so. So, hole number eight, par. So, I think I do need to use Guardian for this hole. So, hopefully, you have Guardian unlocked. I may be wrong. It may still be backbone range. We'll see. So, as you can see, definitely, <clears throat> definitely fairway wood range, so Guardian will be the club of choice unless you have at least a sniper level 7 or 8. But I assume more rookie players will have Guardian level 2 <laughs> than will have... Sniper level 8, so... Let's try 6 backspin. And there's not really a good area to land. So it's just going to take a little bit of luck. So, let's just try to put it close. Yeah. So, 
definitely possible to get the hole in one, but um, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of luck. As you can see, it's just there was no smooth, flat area to land on. So uh, same clubs should work very well for hole nine. Quarterback and guardian would be be my two clubs of choice. So. I'm basically just going to bomb this one down here as far as I can, using as much curl as I have. And from here I should have a guardian shot to the green, which would be a pretty low percentage shot as well. Just sort of one of those take your birdie and run type of holes. So, as you can see, we should be able to bounce it off this hill up here. And the higher we can bounce it, the better. Because that'll help springboard it back towards the hole. Um, so I'm going to try two rings here. And let's see if we can't get close. Got decently high, but yeah, just not gonna come back enough. So, easy birdie though. Definitely think QB and Guardian is the the best combo there to get an easy birdie, so. Alright, well let's all nine holes there. We got nice eagle on one and alba on three, so I believe we would have shot minus 13 maybe. So definitely not a bad score there. Um, hope you guys found some useful shots. I think minus, minus 13 would be a really good score. Yeah. So definitely happy with that. So hope you guys found some useful shots in here and hope it helps you get that banner of this tournament. So good luck, guys.